Hello, it's me. <laughs> what up, fam? It's me, Stephanie, here to teach you how to make puto. Not to be confused with the Spanish word for male prostitute, puto is a small little Filipino dessert. All right, let's go, puto. For ingredients, you're gonna need flour, eggs, sugar, water, evaporated milk, and baking powder. In addition, you'll need a mixer, a bowl, butter, and your puto molds, which come in three different sizes. There's a large, medium, and small. We'll be using the small for this one. So take your flour, or open it at first. I struggled. <laughs> and then take your measuring cup and measure eight cups of flour. Try not to spill as much as I did. <laughs> While we're watching me do this, let me hit you with some facts. Putos can be seen as a mystery today because no one really knows its history. The puto is thought to come from Malaysia, derived from the Malay word putu, which when translated means portioned. The Malaysian puto, in some ways, made a mess, is like the Filipino puto because they are both steamed cakes. Maybe I should tie my hair. So it's understandable why people might think that puto came from Malaysia. However, because of lack of written history, there is no real traces of how Filipino puto started or where it came from, which is why so many people call it the indigenous native dessert. Like other foods in the Philippines, different regions cook puto in different ways. Oftentimes, these recipes have been passed down from generation to generation. I'm not meant for baking! Puto is a favorable snack in both young and old. They can be seen in almost every occasion such as birthdays, baptismals, fiestas, Christmas, and even simple gatherings with friends and families. Oh, whoops! Made a mess. Like my life! Booty me down, down. Booty me down, down. Booty me This bowl is not big enough. Okay, so like, the bowl that I put it in is too small, so get a bigger bowl <laughs> and put it in. This is gonna be a mess. Woo! 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 Now you're gonna need eight egg whites. The technique here is to crack open the egg and then keep switching the yolk between each shell while letting the whites fall out. I tried the hack where you use a bottle to take the egg yolks out and I failed, so this was the best that I could do. Did you know? Like the French baguette, many times puto is eaten with something savory. It's best paired with dinuguan, which is pork blood stew. Hey, puto can come in many variants. There's puto bombong, puto kutsinta, puto lanson, puto mamon, puto maya, puto pao, and puto seco. So once you're done with that, you can set aside the egg yolks in case you want to make leche flan or something. Now add 4 cups of sugar to your mix. I already measured because I made a big mess earlier that's still there. Now add 4 cups of water that I already measured. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, I know I am. Thank you. Now you're going to need a can of evaporated milk. You're also probably going to need a can opener. Watch magic happen! I got it! Uh. And last but not least, you're going to need 16 teaspoons of baking powder. Powder now, not soda. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah! I clearly know nothing. 
All right. Yeah. Strength. Great. Now take your mixer and mix everything in, like so. This is probably gonna take a while. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Can you do it? Now watch me. Oh, watch me, watch me. Oh, watch me, watch me. Oh, watch me, watch me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, watch me, watch me. Oh, watch me, watch. The texture of the puto will depend on how you mix the batter. The mixture should be mixed moderately to have a finer texture. Like this. Now, take your steamer, because that's how putos are made in a steamer called a putohan. Modern putohans are made of metal. However, they used to use bamboo before. Kind of like the dim sum steamer basket. Take the bottom layer and fill it up with cold water. Then, turn on the stove. Ground way. Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to use a stove. And cover this bottom layer until it's boiling. Did you know the cover is almost always conical because it allows for the steam when condensing to drip along the perimeter instead of on the putos. Meanwhile, get your puto mix from earlier, put it on the counter, and then put your puto molds in rows. Also, melt your butter. You're gonna want your setup to be like this. Now, take your melted butter and butter the inside of your puto molds. You can use a paper towel or this yellow thingy that I use that I don't even know what it is, but I found it and it worked. This is so that when you take out the puto later, it won't stick to the puto mold. Now, put your puto mix into the puto mold and fill it up about to the rim. Rim, 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 try. Like right here. You keep doing this until you fill up a whole putohan layer. Now you can leave it like this, or if you would like, you can add cheese. Long ago, plain putos are commonly eaten by those who are from the lower income group. But special types of puto that have things like cheese and eggs were consumed by the higher income group. Now, everyone kind of just eats whatever they want because they can. Now, the water in that bottom part of your steamer should be boiling. So you can set 10 minutes on your clock and put this layer of the steamer on top of the bottom layer and then cover it. Don't forget to start the timer. Meanwhile, while this is going, you can start cleaning up because I made a huge mess earlier and it really bothered me. The traditional cooking method of puto takes time and a lot of inactive waiting periods. The process spans about three to four days from initial rice soaking to taking the finished puto. Today, however, it doesn't take that long, about two to four hours, which is usually done early in the morning. Once the 10 minutes are up, take out that layer of the steamer and then take out the putos and put them on a plate to cool. cool down. And now, once they've cooled down enough, you can put them on a plate to serve. And this is what your final puto should look like. Here is a puto dance because we did it. Yep, yep, we did it. All right. <laughs> mm, thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, peace out, putos. Mwah!